Right guys, so I'm going for my service at one of the Stellantis showroom slash services and that's the one in Sheffield is the closest to me now it's it's a bit of a of a strange video right because I will I, I would like to praise the fact that you know what, what those guys are doing it's is phenomenal it's excellent you know amazing customer service always been treated nice you know you have some good coffee in there you know it's 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 nice right I never had issues with them specifically I had some issues with the service in, in Mansfield, but that's that's a different story. So the service itself, it's it's just great, right? And the quality of the work. I mean, I'm not an expert myself or whatever, but I, you know, I do tend to think it's 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 high quality. You know, I had some issues uh, with uh, you know my previous service, whatever, and they explained me how, why they were so kind to show me photos videos whatever i mean they almost let me go there and work with them kind of thing if i was asked to obviously they wouldn't i suppose for health and safety but the point being is you know every time i've been there it's just been it's just been a good experience right and you as a client as a customer what you want it's a good customer experience or a good client's experience right at the end the client's journey it's it's, it's important right because at the end it's something that will keep the client with the brand now even though i like the brand i do have a Peugeot car which is you know part of the salon of the Stellantis you know with the Fiat with the, whatever we have we have the, uh, the the Citroen and and all that stuff well the bad news is that um, accordingly to the last uh, you know earnings reportings and everything looks like Stellantis is going downhill now one of the major reasons why Stellantis is going downhill is well, let, let, let's talk the numbers first, right? It's going downhill in the meaning of, you know, the profits have fallen to the point where the price, right, the stock price has fallen by 50%. So imagine having a decrease of 15% in your stock price, mate, it's like almost overnight. But uh, the, the, apparently the issues is that, you know, Stellantis technically became a group or so around three years ago by the merger of you know multiple brands and all that and you know I'll, I'll feel free to go online and see which are the brands but the point is that it includes some american brands as well now those american brands the cores that were supposed to be um sold in the states and you know make a profit and, and all that because i think they were trying to save that apparently that's exactly what's gonna potentially uh, you know, affect the the future of uh, of this group, of this brand, and you know what? It's it's, it's a bit sad, right? Because, well, you know, what if what if one day they're not gonna produce whatever car anymore? I don't think it's gonna be the case for the Peugeot and the Citroen because these are like iconic brands, to be honest. But who knows? You know, at the end, if you look like that, right? The American brands, you know, somebody that owns a car like that, and most probably they must have owned. Uh, a car for the past God knows 20, 30 years They will say no, it's a iconic brand It's never gonna die But, well, I guess it will I mean, think about, right? Jeep was a failed attempt Of transforming what used to be A very rigid car You know, it was a car That was specifically almost made for People wanting to do off-road And, you know, people that actually need it for a specific pur uh, purpose and they, they transform it into I don't, I don't even know what is that it's like a hybrid between between your standard SUV or whatever and it, I don't know man it just it looks different it feels different and I don't think that's the, the right approach for Jeep you know Jeep was supposed to be a Jeep you know in, in my home country when you're saying a car is like made for off-road you potentially might have said yeah this is the proper Jeep right anyway it's like Adidas became, you know, the shoe model, the sport shoe, instead of, you know, just being Adidas the brand. Anyway, well, uh, so because uh, sales have fallen in the United States and there is like a huge, 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 massive, massive, massive overstocking situation going there with stock on sold because obviously they produce, nobody's buying it. They are going to have to, well, cut the prices now you will say yeah well that's gonna help the 
uh, the consumer. Well, it will help the consumer, but the point is, how much will it help the consumer? Because if it gets to the point where the manufacturer and you know all these dealers and, and all that, they you know they just won't make any profits at all. Not profits, but maybe they're gonna end up in making losses. The whole chain may end up in having so much of a disruption that will affect everybody. I mean, I'm not saying it's the case of, you know, the brand is going to disappear per se, but chances are few brands might end up in getting sold. And, you know, I I have recently driven, uh, I've been driving, you know, uh, the BYD CL and the BYD CLU. And I must confess, I am really falling in love with, uh, with those two cars and not just I don't know, people will say, yeah, it's Chinese, whatever you call it, right? But the quality, as far as I have seen, is literally exceptional. Not only that, but if you compare what you get for the money, you get a lot of car for the money. I mean, the CLU, you know, special offer, 31 something, whatever, 31K, but you get from panoramic roof to whatever you name it, right? Like electric chairs, memory, heated, vented, all that comes a standard, right? The only difference is made by the battery, technically, if you look at it, right? You have, I mean, you have like two, three type, three types of battery or so, right? Uh, no, actually you have two types. You have an 18 and a 22 or something like that. But then also you can go down the, uh, the variant with having a um, uh, 4x4 for the CLU as an example. And for the CL, again, it's like, you know, you don't have a hundred thousand variants and then you know being charged for any added extra little thing i mean what you get for the standard version i'm going to be honest with you is like paying paying for a premium in in a peugeot as an example right and it wouldn't surprise me if the chinese is uh, if you know a chinese company uh, you know it might be byd it might be someone else if they are going to potentially take over one of these brands revamp them you know make the cars cheaper and then you say well they are making it cheaper because they are making it in in china well hey i you know i i could say i agree with you but then look at elon musk i look at elon musk he literally redeveloped the whole you know uh chain right the whole production chain to the point where he was able to sell cars which are not much of a difference between between the BYD as an example CL and, and the Tesla Model 3 whatever now many will say yes but the quality I agree with you I've been in Tesla's hey Tesla boys please don't you know don't hate me too much but the reality is the reality I felt like the quality of the materials are much higher and uh, the the level of uh, of the the works generally you know you have the same beautiful line between panels i mean you know these guys are making cars man for years you know it's not like they started yesterday now, i'm not saying this to hate on tesla or whatever because at the end tesla you know they have their own their own stuff you know they are developing the fsd and all that but the point being is that you know, they, they, they demonstrated the fact that they can produce a beautiful car at a cheap price. Thirty-one thousand pounds is something that for the European brands or American brands, you're gonna get for like fifty at least. And if you don't believe me, man, you know what? Go in one of the videos that uh, we we you know we have generated. Uh, it's it's in the channel. I think it was uh, uploaded about a week, two weeks ago, or something like that. One of them is with the BYD CLU and you'll see 31k the other one is with the byd cl which is about 44k as a starting price one of them it's a hybrid uh plug-in hybrid the other one the cl it's an electric car so you know imagine if one day you're gonna end up in calling your local i don't know stellantis or whatever citroen dealer or you know whatever call it and they'll say hey we're having issues whatever we can't find uh the stock anymore for the parts or i don't know it's just it's just gonna be a very weird complicated situation that's what happens every time a major manufacturer gets into some sort of trouble something will happen has to happen now the challenge here is that there will be also people you know involved in losing their jobs you bless them you know it's one of those things if you look at it i mean even even volkswagen as an example right 
right? The, the profits in China have dropped for uh, for the group uh, by by 50 percent. And obviously, you now will say, well, it doesn't matter China that much, does it? Well, technically, you could say that, but it's wrong at so many levels because China matters a lot. Uh, at least for the uh, Volkswagen Group, they were making 50% of their profits there. Now imagine if 50% of the 50% in China dropped, I mean, that means their uh, total profits have dropped by 20%, just like that because of China. Now worldwide, well, God knows what might happen worldwide as well, because you know, they that ain't good either. I mean, in the United States, as an example, they aren't selling much. At least they aren't selling much EVs. You know, they might be selling, I don't know, ICU cars, whatever, uh, ICE cars, but it's, you know, does that help? Because they have actually invested a lot of money in these production lines for the electric cars. But hey, you know, at the end, I do hope nothing bad is gonna happen with uh, with the brand, at least with Peugeot. You know, Stellantis. It's it's a good brand. I can't complain. Though I could say <coughs> they could definitely improve a lot by doing just a couple of small things, such as please update that app so you can you can actually do more with the app and somehow connect the app a bit more with with the car itself, right? Also potentially if possible make it so the voice commands will be somehow connected to the internet or i don't know man you only have a few voice commands and they don't know they just don't get it right they don't get it right it, it does not rationalize it doesn't have the the capacity of understanding what you want and even when you say it right sometimes it's just doing whatever stuff and yeah you could say it's my accent well it's not really because i tested with english people as well that's not the point so you know apart from that stellantis please do a good job moving forward you did a good job so far at least with the peugeot cars i can't i can't complain i had two peugeot cars the peugeot 2008 the peugeot uh, 508 working fine it did cost me a lot of money for the 508. By the way, guys, expect for everything to cost a lot. I promise you, my next car is gonna be a car which is gonna be both depending on maintenance. It has to be cheap to maintain. It has to be a very cheap car to maintain. I ain't gonna buy a car that's gonna cost me a fortune anymore. That's not gonna happen. Tires, braking pads, discs, everything is costing a fortune. And I'm not willing to do that anymore. It's just not worth it. Now, chances are, you know, because I'm I'm at 87,500 uh, miles at the moment. Obviously, the uh, battery warranty is going to run out at 100,000. I will have literally two options. Option number one, sell it, get a brand new cheap car. And by cheap, I don't mean necessarily bad car, but, you know. Have an affordable price i was thinking about the citroen c4 uh it's, it's still a nice car it's a bit of an suv obviously it's not that big it's not gonna be that comfy it's not gonna help me out on long journeys which i do a lot and that's that's something i'm very mindful about because me you know last month as an example i did you know over 3,000 miles in one month so imagine driving all these miles right in a car which is not that comfy i don't know man I'll, I'll have to really really think about it i'll do a couple of test drives and i'll see i'll see how they actually handle but yeah that will be option number one as far as i heard they are not too bad they are still comfy but obviously not as comfy as this one this is made for long journeys let's let's admit it uh, or i'm just gonna get a duster lpg or something like that duster b fuel and then you know it's gonna cost me 168 or something like that the the service for the car which is not expensive at all and then i'm just gonna keep it until it's gonna die but what if we're gonna get hit with some sort of a god knows what uh you know ules or something like that i, I don't know it's it's you, you never know when the ules uh, rules are going to change and they will say hey you know no more no more petrol but then I don't know. It's, it's just becoming very and very confusing. If you guys have any ideas about cars, 
by the way that I could have a look at the car has to be uh, obviously you know like a year old or so tops um, and you know there are specific reasons why that's important I'm always on the road I need warranty whatever all that I can't rely on whatever uh, or you know if you guys will advise me to just keep this one until he's gonna die literally until he's gonna die that might be another option as well and I'll have to carefully think about it apart from that Guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been 15 minutes that I've been rumbling about it and I've been moving through different topics and ideas. I, it's, it's, it's a bit of a bad habit, but hey, it is what it is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video, whatever you guys think it's, it's nice to do. Obviously, liking will help a lot because it does push the video through the algorithm. And if you have actually watched it till the end, well, you did, you did enough. It helps a lot, you know the average view duration is gonna go up because of you so thank you very much and keep at it take care bye now